Hi everyone. Um, so this new topic is related to JupyterLab requirements. Um, we release version 0 0.13 and there are some uh, um, new in feature that could be interesting for the users. Some of them were uh, uh, requested specifically for the kernels. So if they wanted to manage the kernels directly in the notebook, so they wanted to, uh, JupyterLab requirements already has a way to delete the kernels directly from the UI, but they wanted to have uh, some specific command in order to do that. So you can basically do Orus check kernel. Um, one. <laughs> um yeah sorry list kernel that is uh to check uh the actual packages so this is the kernels that are available on uh, my machine and then i can also do check kernel if i want to see what packages are available and there is a warning on that because uh, this is basically using a pip list and uh, as we know that that isn't the not the way to check if uh, the package is also coming from, we cannot check if the, this pack is coming from a certain index, but we can also see only see then the name of the package in the version. And if you want to delete, you can just do delete kernel now and uh, delete one of the kernels. So you can do it directly from the from the UI. Um, the other things that we introduced um, is uh, the output uh, of advisor. So until now we were just uh, basically collecting the results from Tamos and uh, storing them. But now you can uh, actually um, see what happened. So imagine that I add uh, um, a specific package to this uh, notebook that has no dependencies. Um, then I want to lock it. Just to Oros lock and I can maybe specify Python version because my machine by default is 3.9 um, OS name not UBI and the uh, OS version we can ask uh, 8 and if you want you can also uh, give a name to the kernel so demo dot and then you can just ask for the recommendation and now if after Todd provides uh, um, the recommendation, we will see that uh, now we will get also the recommendation um, information regarding the stack and regarding the recommendation um, uh, information. And this is basically what you get already on Tamos, but we were not uh, having it here. So as you see, this is the same thing that uh, Tamos provides, but uh, here was not uh, shown. So now you can have uh, all the reports and you can see why the recommendation one was uh, was made. And this is all included in uh, uh, Jupyter version 0 0.13.0. So that's uh, every, uh, that's all. Uh, do you have any question? Thanks for sharing. Actually, well, 